Today's video, we're going to be talking about, of course, Citibank and what that BTFCC means, right? So the Citibank Balance Transfer Credit Card. The reason that we're talking about this Citibank Balance Transfer Card, because looking in the market, they have some of the best balance transfer cards. And why am I talking about them? Because I want to help you lower your debt to income ratio, right? I want to help you get larger lines of credit as well as helping you get out of debt. That's the reason that we're focusing on Citibank today and their balance transfer credit cards, okay? So also in the thumbnail, you see where it says interest-free loan. So I'm like, why not take advantage of it? Because these here balance transfer credit cards is going to take you into 20, okay? And that's the most important thing. It gives you so much time and a better opportunity to be able to minimize your debt, increase your income, and be able to get higher lines of credit. So the first city uh, credit card we're going to be talking about is the city simplicity card, okay? Now, with the city cards, most of these cards, people say you have to have about a 700. Well, that's not true. If you have a good file and say that you're ranging about a 680 and you have a good relationship with Citibank, guess what? You will still be able to qualify for some of these credit cards. So in terms of talking about them, like I said, the first card, it's the City Simplicity card. And the reason is, again, it's giving you 18 months. 18 months, zero interest. Now, I'm also going to share with you in terms of how to make it so if you need to do a cash advance or a purchase or whatever, that it doesn't trigger to charge you higher interest afterwards, right? So we're going to talk about that strategy too. So the city simplicity card gives you 18 months zero interest. Now, understand that they don't have a, they don't offer no rewards program, okay? And that's, that's okay. The main reason, again, we want these here cards is because we're trying to lower our debt to income ratio. We're trying to get larger uh, lines of credit as well as helping ourselves get out of debt. So that's the reason we're focusing on these credit cards. Now, the second card is the City Devil, okay? Now, with the City Devil, it also gives you 18 months, right? gives you 18 months zero interest. Now, do they have a rewards program? Yeah, they do. So for every dollar, you're getting uh, 2%, and then after that, it's 1%, okay? So it may not be the best in the world, but at the same time, our focus is being able to minimize our debt so we can get larger lines of credit, right? So that's the reason we're focusing on that. Now, Next one is our city diamond, okay? That's the black car, okay? And it's 18 months, right? Now with the city diamond, again, it's one of those cards that Citibank offers, but it, it's no rewards, all right? And that, that's cool because we know what our main mission is, so we're not going to worry about it, all right? Now, here's one they have. It's called the City Rewards. Now with the City, the City Rewards card is actually a City Rewards card. Think about it, it has a shorter term of no uh, interest because it only gives you 15 months. All right, so just keep that in mind. The City Rewards only gives you 15 months of balance transfer uh, and uh, no zero interest uh, on purchasing, right? Again, some of these cards with Citibank, they have rewards, some of them don't. But that's okay, again, because we know what our focus is. And then it's the City Custom, okay? Now it gives you 15 months as well, all right? Now with the City Custom, if you uh, spend $750 within the first three months, it'll give you a $200 statement credit. All right. Now, some of you all may be saying, well, Houston, what if I don't have a relationship with uh, Citibank? What am I to do? 
Well, here's the thing that I would still tell you to make it easier for you to be qualified for these cards. One, I would open a personal account and a business account, okay? Then I would probably get the city secured, okay? Again, I always tell you guys, this is building a relationship is so important with these financial institutions. And most people would just apply for a credit card, you know, and they may get a low limit. But the, the longer and the stronger the relationship is with these financial institutions, the more money you get. And that's what our whole purpose is, to be able to get more capital so we can invest into starting our business or we're planning on doing other things that can actually help our income grow. So that's the reason that we want these cards. Now, I would do open up a personal and business account. I would do the city, city security card, all right? Then I would do the city Home Depot or the uh, Staples uh, credit card. The reason why, again, if I have, if my credit score isn't that strong, then I still want to build a relationship with City. So then what I would do, I would get a Home Depot card or a Staples credit card. And that way, those uh, cards you can use to get, get Visa gift cards and you can liquidate those cards and put that money into your uh, business bank account or on your City card and then transfer the money over to your uh, personal account and also to your business bank account to build a relationship. Now again, some people are like, well, they don't allow you to buy Visa gift cards with a Home Depot card. Here's the thing about it that you need to understand. Not when you just going in there to just buy Visa gift cards, no. But you actually have to be making other purchases at Home Depot, at Staples and stuff. And then you add that on to it. But if you're just going in there to grab Visa gift cards, no, okay? Because they see what you're actually doing. But again, I'm just sharing this with you because I know some people may be running tight of income. They may have a Home Depot card and they're like, hmm, I need to pay a bill, a phone bill or something. So it's just a strategy to help you, right? All right, so now you have these three steps. The fourth step, again, building a relationship. If you can, I would probably do a direct deposit. I would probably do a di direct deposit. Now, the reason that I would do a direct deposit, now you're letting Citibank know that, hey, I actually want to be in business with you. I actually want to build a relationship with you. And again, the more accounts you have open with them, the more transactions, the more they trust you and the more they're willing to be able to bend the rules a little more to help you to be, get qualified for some of these here credit cards that offer 18 months interest uh no interest 18 15 to 18 months and no interest now another thing i would definitely tell you when you open up your personal account a business account this is what you want to do you want to make sure you do weekly deposits okay that's very important so don't just open up the account and let it sit there make sure you do the weekly deposits now i hope that this video helps you for those of you that's just finding my youtube channel again please subscribe comment let me know if any of you guys have any of these citibank uh, balance transfer cards or have you used any of the strategies i share about trying to be able to help you lower your debt to income ratio, get larger lines of credit, get out of debt, using the Citibank uh, balance transfer credit cards. If you're looking for a balance transfer credit card, you can click the link below because not only does the system offer Citibank, but it offers the other financial institutions as well that may be able to easier, that may give you easier access to a balance transfer credit card. So this is Houston with Three Way Funding. I appreciate you all supporting me. And for those of you that's always commenting, liking, as always, 